This short video is a journal article review. The topic is rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is an acute and potentially deadly disease. It's characterized by muscle breakdown and necrosis, which leads to the spilling of cell contents into the circulation, like proteins and electrolytes. The etiologies of rhabdomyolysis can be broken into a number of categories. Traumatic injuries such as crush injuries, electrical burns, prolonged immobility or long lies, and blunt traumas are common causes of rhabdomyolysis. So too is strenuous exercise, including endurance events like marathons or other demanding activities, as well as high metabolic medical conditions like status epilepticus status asthmaticus, or severe dystonias. Rhabdomyolysis can also be caused by toxins, including envenomation, prescription and non-prescription drugs, most notably statins, and recreational drug abuse, like alcohol and most other illicit drugs. Environmental exposures can also cause rhabdomyolysis, such as hyper and hypothermias. Rhabdo can also be caused by metabolic disorders such as deranged electrolytes and acid base balance and conditions including DKA, HHS and thyroid dysfunctions. Viral, bacterial and fungal infections, some immune and genetic disorders can also result in rhabdomyolysis. The most common though are exercise, trauma, alcohol and drug abuse. Pathophysiology. Rhabdomyolysis sees skeletal muscle deterioration that leads to cell death. Creatinine kinase, an enzyme abundant in skeletal muscle, and myoglobin, a protein also prominent in skeletal muscle, are released in high levels during rhabdo. Therefore, elevated serum CK levels and myoglobinuria, or myoglobin in the urine, which can make urine look reddish brown or coke-like, are the primary diagnostic indicators for the disease. Myoglobin is a large molecule and as the kidneys filter plasma, myoglobin clogs renal tubules, leading to obstruction, tubular necrosis and acute renal failure. Furthermore, alterations in electrolyte balance can occur, particularly elevated potassium and phosphate levels and decreased calcium being the most common. Lactate is also often elevated. Patients may be asymptomatic or present with common symptoms including muscle fatigue, swelling and pain, and red brown colored urine. Treatment. Treatment is centered around prevention of acute kidney injury. Therefore, intensive fluid therapy is implemented with isotonic fluids to flush the kidneys of these large myoglobin molecules with a goal urine output of 150 to 200 mils an hour. Nursing management includes the close monitoring of strict fluid balance and vital signs, especially maintaining a map great enough to provide adequate kidney perfusion. Observations of extremities for indications of neurovascular compromise is also important as this may indicate a possible compartment syndrome. Watch closely for deteriorating signs of renal failure, such as oliguria. In severe cases of rhabdomyolysis, patients may require dialysis. When appropriate, mobilizing the patient and increasing activity aids towards recovery. In summary, rhabdomyolysis is a condition that sees the breakdown of skeletal muscle that can be caused by trauma, strenuous exercise, prolonged immobility, toxins, infective processes, and metabolic disorders. Nurses are paramount in both the treatment and prevention of complications such as renal injury and compartment syndrome.